happy day children this is part 3 video of class 7 science electric circuit and its effects cfl lamp that is compact fluorescent lamp so cfls do not work on the heating effect of current we have studied that due to the heat of the current will get soft circuit and overload to avoid this nowadays we are using cfl lamps so this cfl lamps as in a normal bulb they don't have filament inside them instead they contain two electrodes that only will produce light so these bulbs will have a fluorescent coating inside which makes the light brighter and it is long life it has long life so this cfls this saves the energy as do not produce heat in compared to the normal bulb so ordinary bulbs on the other hand waste energy as they get heated while lighting up next we are going to see what is an ISI mark? So we all see this ISI mark we can see in all the electric appliances like cases, iron, electric press ions, refrigerators like. So this ISI that is Indian Standard Institute which standardized on all electrical appliances. It stands for Indian Standards Institute which standardized all electrical appliances. Hence if any appliances does not have any ISI mark over it. It means that this appliance does not conform to the standard guidelines of ISI. So hence it is not safe to use. So on the other hand, if any appliances hold such a mark, it means that it is safe to use. It's a quality product which gives guarantee and it will not lead to any wastage of electric setting. Next we are going to see what are miniature circuit breaker or MCB. So this is miniature circuit breaker is generally used instead of fuses so a fuse breaks due to excessive current so that the circuit opens up and damage can be prevented however once a fuse breaks down it cannot be used again so mcb this miniature circuit breaker on the other hand it's like a switch which turns off as it on when a circuit overloads so once the problem the circuit is rectified we can switch on the MCB once again. So this red button is like on and off. If there is a circuit, overload circuit, then automatically the switch gets off. So next we are going to see the magnetic effect of electric current. So when an electric current is passed through a wire, it behaves like a magnet. So this is called a magnetic effect of electric current, which was discovered by a scientist Hans Christian Oersted. We all know the magnetic compass needle. <coughs> in class 6, we have uh, in the chapter Fun with Magnets, we have studied about the magnetic compass. Inside that, it is pivoted with a needle, magnetic needle always aligns in north south direction. So, it is helpful for the travelers to find directions. So, the scientists only really discovered the needle of a complex compass, sorry, deflects when an electric current is passed through a wire placed near the compass. So this indicates that the magnetic field is created near the wire that deflects the needle. You can see the deflection in compass needle due to the electric current. You can see there is a change. So this indicates the magnetic field is created near the wire which deflects which moves the needle. Next electromagnets. It is a magnet made by using electric current. If a magnet uses the electric city, then we call it as electromagnets. Every magnetic material has a magnetic field up in which influence of magnetism can be experienced. So a magnet whose electric field is magnetic field is generated with the help of electric current that we call it as electromagnet. So an electromagnet which consists of a coil of insulated wire wrapped around a piece of iron which is magnetized only when electric current is passed through the coil. Next we will see the various applications of electromagnets. It's used in domestic appliances as electric bells, used in toys, used in all kinds of telecommunication equipment, used in cranes to separate magnetic materials from chunk and to lift heavy objects used by doctors to remove any magnetic materials that we have fallen in the eye iron splinters 
their electric magnets are used these magnets have their utilization in electric generators where very strong magnetic field is required for deflecting the electron beam of the picture of the tube of tv electron magnets are used for the magnetic separation of iron ores from the earth substances this electromagnets are used and for preparing strong permanent magnets electromagnets are used next we will see electric bell what are the components of the electric bell you can see a coil of wire wound over an iron piece that forms the electromagnet an iron strip which has a hammer attached to it which is joined to the wire coil a contact screw through which is attached to the iron strip a battery which connects the wire coil and the contact screw and a switch is in the middle of the circuit so this is the picture of the electric bell and the components present now we'll see how this electric bell works so when the switch of the electric bell is on when the switch of the electric bell is on the electric current flows through the coil of the wire which makes the iron piece attached to it which acts as a electromagnet so as a result the iron piece attracts the hammer towards itself so the hammer then hits the bell and sound is produced so as, as the hammer moves towards the iron piece it moves away from the contact screw it's break down the circuit so as a result the hammer falls back to its original position so then as the hammer falls back the iron strip again come in contact with the contact screw the circuit gets completed so this again turns the iron piece into an electromagnet and the whole process continues until the bell is switched off so this results in the ringing of the electric bell so this is the working of the electric bell Thank you, children.